Hi guys, Steve here from Loja Boat again. Today we're going to have a look at how easy it is to install your all new Loja Boat. So guys, when you're uh, taking your tinny off to work on your Loja Boat, you've got two options. You can either do what I'm doing here and beach it at your local ramp, work it on in the car park, or you can put it on some old tyres in your uh, backyard. But I must stress, make sure that you're confident that you're not going to hurt yourself, your tinny or your trailer if you're going to put it on old tries. I recommend the ramp every day of the week. So now we've got the boat off the trailer and we're ready to go. Firstly I'd recommend taking your tape measure and measuring from your cross member to the top of your roller. This time we're about 80 mil. This will help setting up your loger boat in the same position when we put it on. So let's go ahead and remove the old bracket. For this you're going to need a shifter or a socket set, a hammer, some WD-40, grease, maybe a grinder. Let's have a go. So simply undo your bolts and remove your old roller and bracket. Now don't forget, if you've only got a single bracket stem here, you can always visit our shop, loagerboat.com.au and you can buy clamp-on adjusters to suit any trailer size you need. We'll grab your new bracket your adjustable legs. Now you've got your two mounting points here. For this one I'm going to choose the back lower one and see how I go for height. Wiggle your legs into the position and then line your legs up into your brackets on your trailer. Slip it down into space. You want to look by eyesight just to make sure that your roller is pretty much central with the other rollers on your trailer. If so, adjust to suit. That looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now is grab your adjusting bolts and we want to give them a good helping of grease. This helps obviously lubricate if any adjustment at any time needs to happen in the future. So what we want to do is we feed the bolts back into your adjusting points. Don't forget to do both. And then what we're going to do is check our height. So from memory we had 80 mil roughly to the top of the roller. Which is about there. We want to lock off these bolts the best we can. So just nip up those bolts to stop the bracket from moving. Okay, so then we can grab our tape again. Eyeball it. I'm a little bit high, so this is where your hammer could come in handy. If you're a little bit low, you could tap your stems up and get it up to where you want. We're a little bit high, so we can just give it a, a little bit of a tap. Check again, I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to do the bolts up nice and tight, so it doesn't move when we load the boat back on. So basically now we're done, load your boats all installed, all we need to do now is go and grab the tinny put him back on, double check your heights, and we're done. So we've put the larger boat on, we'll bring the tinny back on now, and we'll take it back up to the car park to check the height. You see it's pushing it over into the centre, as it comes up onto the trailer. And that's how easy it is with the all new larger boat. We'll pull the boat out and we'll go double check the heights on that back roller. Sure. All in all, it's taken us about half an hour getting the boat on and off and installing the new loger boat bracket. We can see it's aligned pretty well, exactly how I wanted it, ready to go. Don't forget, for more information, to visit our website at logerboat.com.au. Happy boating.